Um, so basically, you opened for Darius Rucker. Sure, that's okay. And Chris Stapleton. That. That's all right. Oh, yeah. You know, between those two or any other artist, current country, who do you think you most sound like? Like, if I was creating oh, my okay. iHeartRadio playlist okay. and I put Luke Combs in there, who else do you think would populate? Who, who would mesh in yeah. that playlist? Yeah, and who'd be know. proud to mesh with? I think John Party, I'm a fan of that yeah. guy. Yeah. I'm a fan of that guy. I think, I think we would go well together on there. What about Eric Church? Oh, absolutely. I Is think that that's you? a given. Yeah. I don't even have to say that anymore. Everybody just People knows. just yeah. know. Everybody just knows, yeah. So what are we today? We are April April 30th, 30th, which means as of tomorrow, we are one month and two days away yes. from Luke Combs' debut album. Yes, we are. Yes. What's it called? This one's for you. June 2nd is the date. Um, obviously, super pumped about it. Uh, I've been living with it for a while, so uh, I'm ready for people to finally get a chance to listen to it. And when you say this one's for you, it's not like a rose or a kiss. Um, like, right. oh, can no, we go with beer? Like, no, I think it's just, uh, I, I mean, obviously we can go with <laughs> beer if we want to. But I think my original idea was that the whole kind of, I don't know, like this whole music thing is kind of for everybody. You know? Yeah. It's just, I'm just the guy that gets to be the front of the whole thing. If somebody, one of your heroes, titled an album, This One's For You, and it came from your number one guy or girl, yeah. who would that be? Oh, gosh. I mean, I think you already said it. Yeah. yeah. Church? Yeah. Are we yeah. there? Yeah, I think you probably yeah. know the answer yeah. already. Yeah. I know, but I'm a radio girl. I'm supposed to pull it out <laughs> of you. You're supposed to, you're supposed you. to get it out of me. You're sharing all of my secrets. We're making each other work. <laughs> we're making each other work. All right. We're going with a couple of... Luke choices, Luke calls, okay? WWE or UFC, Luke Combs? UFC. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I would have totally been surprised by that. I mean, I loved I went and saw The Rock in person when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. Can now you it's you smell UFC. what right. The Rock is cooking? I was a big jabroni fan. That was my, probably my favorite word when I was like 10 years uh -huh, old. Uh -huh. I thought it was super cool. Did you see Fate of the Furious or have you been too busy? I have not seen it. You have to go. I really? promise. It's a double L recommendation. Yeah. Go see it. It's ridiculous the things they do. You know it's not possible. <laughs> I'm into that. I'm into that. Awesome. All right. Uh, football or basketball? Football. Yes, we know that yeah. about you too. A yeah. couple things in high school. Football and uh, also you did like you did some singing. Choir, a cappella, something. Chorus, what was all it? Kind of stuff. Were you in glee? No. We didn't have a glee thing. Going on. <laughs> because that's a little we bit did. too crazy. <laughs> Craziest question you've ever been asked. Did anything stick with you? Oh man. I don't know. I can't think of anything where I was like, okay, I can't answer that question. No? No. Well, because you're, you're a cool dude, because some people get tripped up, man. Like, yeah, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, you know, I'm a cool cool caller, man, you know. I'm yeah. I'm like, whatever, man. I just let it rock. Okay, two more. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Ooh, me too. Big time. Me too. And Big real time. Coke, like if you're having a pizza, are you having a real Coke or is it a diet, diet. Coke? I'm a diet. Coke. Me too, because the yeah. real one's too sugary. Yeah. 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 My parents, well, I just grew up, my parents drank Diet Coke, so it's just kind of what I stuck with. That's the thing. Yeah. Last one, we got to know your favorite candy bar so we can be ready for next time. Oh, favorite candy bar? The okay. Zero Bar. What is that? Right? Look it up. <laughs> I'm look going it up. to, I and swear. And I guarantee you, when you look it up, you're going to be like, wow, this has been in every gas station I've ever been in, and I never even looked at it. It just was... And when you have it, and next time we see each other, it's your favorite candy bar, you can just send me a thank you card. I will. I, actually, I'll bring one. I'll have it ready. It's, imagine a Three Musketeers bar, Ooh, but it's okay. white chocolate. Ooh. I'm excited about this. Very good. Thank you for my knowledge. It's got a little almonds in it. Oh, it's primo. You have kicked for, off day for you three. Zero bars. <laughs> zero bars. Give me a shout. If you need someone to eat zero bars, I'm your guy. You have I'm kicked off day three at Stagecoach, yes. about to take the main stage. We are so proud of you. You went from On the Verge. It was yes. a top ten record the last time yeah. we were here. Now we're knocking at now that we're door. Knocking on the door. So uh, yeah. can we just do a pound in yeah, number one because we I can. feel like it's we happening? Can. And then that's yes. like a knock on wood anyway. It is. Sounds like a pound. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. All right. Good. Right. We're gonna see you out there, Luke Combs. Thank yes. you so much for visiting Backstage Bull Nation on location, 95.5 The Bull. Horns up. Thank you.